Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. I'm really excited. I don't know how many of you have been following me for a few years since I had my Grand Sport. I did a video about the five things I hate about my Corvette Grand Sport. Triggered a lot of people. Uh, most of those things were all minor, which I mentioned, but didn't seem to matter. However, today we are headed to Corvette World and we're gonna fix one of the things that I've hated really, was really my pet peeve on the way they designed the Corvette. We're gonna go and we're gonna fix that today. So everyone stay tuned. And here we are guys, Corvette World. You know we love this place. I come here so often. But yep, time to get more work done. Loving this place. So we're opening it up and as you can see, ACS composite. And we'll tell you why later. You don't want to buy something that's not ACS composite. But we are unboxing this thing that I'm super excited about. It's gonna make my car look infinitely better in my opinion. Hardware. Hardware, hardware that should work. <laughs> So the first step is we are going to replace the splitter. This is the ACS composite splitter with an under tray, which is going to be very important and you'll see why. So here is the ACS front splitter with the under tray. You can see right there. So I am excited because this is going to have another product that hopefully will help me not scrape well I'm gonna scrape there's no question <laughs> it's just hopefully I won't scrape in my driveway and destroy the bottom of my splitter so now let's talk about what I'm actually going to do the biggest complaint I had about my C7 Grand Sport and I have the same issue with my Z06 is this big wheel gap so for those of you that remember that video I had people that told me I was crazy it really wasn't that big yes it is you see that Look at that, four fingers. I can fit four fingers in. So I'm going to lower it. So I have a new splitter and I'm gonna show you why I'm replacing this splitter. This one's not damaged, but it does need to go away and we will put the new ACS on there. So we're getting ready to switch out splitters. This is my old splitter. As you can see, there's, there's really nothing up here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this piece off and put the new one on right now. And the funny thing is this is actually carbon fiber, I'm pretty sure, but uh, it's gonna go bye-bye and it was painted because I think they hit a curb. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get this taken off. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and wipe this down with some isopropyl alcohol that actually comes with the slip low package. And then we are gonna install the slip low all around the bottom to help prevent whenever I'm pulling in my driveway or some other thing from scraping the bottom of my splitter. The only negative that I see is that I'm gonna have my car already lower. Then we're gonna put these on and it's gonna make it even lower, which you'll see in a minute, but we'll go ahead and get these installed and then we'll talk about that. Right, guys I don't know if you can see it I'll try to get out of that light but we have the slip low installed underneath and on to the next step which will be lowering the car which still scares me but it's gonna look a lot better but I'm really hoping that this slip low will save me I I'm hoping we'll find out so I, w I forgot to tell you guys the biggest reason that I changed out my splitter again it wasn't because it was bad because it didn't have an under tray to where I could really put the slip low on here. And the slip low to me is gonna be a very important uh, component to obviously lowering the car. I don't want it to scrape, so I wanted to go ahead and put the slip low on here. And I'm hoping that will prevent me from scraping any more than necessary. So we'll see how it goes. 
So now we're in the process of lowering the car and uh, Keith's got this nice little jack stand right here that you can no longer purchase but he got it 25 years ago so he's set to do this but we are going to lower it on the stock bolts. How much you think it'll lower Keith? Maybe three quarters, three of, an quarters of an inch? Three quarters of an inch max. Okay that's cool. I don't know that I can handle going any lower. <laughs> it's going to be already yeah uh, it's already going to be low enough as it is to. yeah exactly so. all right so we are going to lower the car down to the ground i'm going to take it out for a quick spin and then bring it back we had a lot of trouble with the bolt on the uh driver's side front wheel it was actually seized up they use like a, a glue on it and so that one we could only drop it what'd you say about just about a half inch half. just about a half inch in the front was all we could do so we wouldn't even be able to raise it back up <laughs> with the way it is but anyway went ahead and matched in the front and lowered the back ones what three quarters of an inch to make it where it's actually even because generally the front will uh set lower than the back so this will make the car a little more even but i'm going to run it around the block real quick and we're going to come back and check on the measurements all right guys so this is the final product and it's definitely lower again we couldn't quite do the front as low as i wanted i really wanted less wheel gap here but it's still lower than it was and honestly considering i already have an issue getting in and out of my driveway i you know i'll deal with it i'm happy with it the way it is it looks better than it did before there's no question and it's actually a little more level than it was before so i like that as well but what do you guys think do you think it made a big difference I know that wheel gap that was in there before, I just, ugh, I couldn't, get, I just couldn't get over it. I couldn't stand it, but uh, that's what it looks like now. I'm really happy. I want to say thank you to Corvette World. Thank you to Keith. And now I just need to go get this splitter. I guess I need to go ahead and get it expelled. <laughs> it would be a good opportunity for that. Anyway, you guys have a great day. That's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching.